Ladies and gentlemen, hey, hi, how you doing? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. In just a couple of days time, we are going to see our next major update drop for Warzone, MW2, and DMZ. And this, of course, is Season 5 Reloaded. It is going to be a full-on title update. I believe it's version 1.24, if my memory serves me right. So it is going to be a full-on download for everyone this week. It's going to add in some new content, new gameplay changes, all sorts of stuff like that. And curiously enough, so far, we actually haven't seen our full season five reloaded or mid season update reveal. Usually they drop like a blog post, sometimes a newly updated roadmap and stuff like that, detailing the content side of things. That should probably be happening in the next one to two days. And once it is live, you guys know I'm gonna have you covered right as it's revealed. So stay tuned for that. Uh, if you guys wanna guarantee you are always up to date with that and everything else going on in COD, this is the place to be every single day I got you covered. So feel free to hit that subscribe button. And as we're going through all the confirmed changes so far, if you enjoy the video, do me a favor, drop a like on it, would be really appreciated. But yeah, even though we haven't seen the content reveal for the most part, we actually already have a lot of changes, fixes, and other gameplay updates confirmed for season five reloaded just simply based out of the developer medias essentially the trello board primarily is where we're getting the list for a lot of the changes coming this week initially though really quick we did actually see a minor update go live just a couple of days ago so briefly to recap this uh cod updates did tweet out saying for dmz and for warzone we have resolved an issue that prevented the completion of the quid pro quo mission for some players in dmz so if you're trying to actively complete that mission you're having issues it should be issue free now moving forward but then as mentioned the trello boards contain a lot of previews for some upcoming fixes and whatnot the majority of this in theory should be dropping with the patch notes with season five reloaded so on wednesday when the update goes out we should see most of this listed in the patch notes once they drop in same deal with the reveal for the season as soon as the notes are uh you know out there and they've uh published those I'll be covering those as well. So if you want to see all the changes right as they happen, this is the place for that. But initially looking at the Warzone side of things, the Raven Trello board is just focused on this. And we've got a lot of things here, some old, some new. We're going to start with one that is quite old. And I'm going to be honest, I do not understand how this is not fixed yet. Like, it's pretty obnoxious that this is still a thing that we're talking about because I've probably brought this up in three, four, maybe five breakdown videos already it's been on their twitter for some time and it's been on the trello for some time stat tracking they're investigating an issue resulting in an inflated and inaccurate number of tracked eliminations represented in global combat stats but really it's just all stats that are broken still your kd is not accurate anymore at all because certain deaths have been tracking and kills haven't been tracking all the stats in this game between multiplayer and Warzone are just extremely busted. So really the combat record serves no purpose right now just because it's just straight up not working at all, which is super annoying. Uh, they've also temporarily disabled the feature that allows party members to stay in a match after the party leader leaves while they investigate an issue causing uh, some disbanding problems there. So that's a pretty niche one. If the party leader accidentally leaves the game without you guys, you're not going to be able to stay in that game beyond that just because they don't want the disbanding issue to keep happening. Now, this one was partially fixed earlier on this week with the return of plunder, but they obviously for the past couple of weeks had plunder actually disabled in game and completely removed because they were investigating an issue where basically you could go through and exploit xp and exploit battle pass tokens by being afk so they've gone through and they've updated that but it's an issue that's sort of been reoccurring like people always figure out how to exploit that stuff every new season there's like a new method so don't be surprised if plunder and or lockdown mysteriously disappear again after season five reloaded uh then most recently for battle royale specifically the buy buyback cost they're investigating an issue causing buybacks to be four thousand dollars in standard pubs they're supposed to have been three thousand dollars since like the launch of season five and it just was never an update that made it into the game so uh definitely an annoying one there it should be 3k to buy back a teammate it's been 4k this whole time that should be changing here with season five reloaded and then we shift over to the infinity ward trailer which contains some more global issues so uh things that'll be changing between warzone multiplayer and dmz then also some specific updates for dmz and multiplayer as well so as far as the, some of the global changes go uh they are aware of an issue where the game may crash in split screen and they're actively investigating that so if you are someone who split screens frequently and you experience a lot of crashes that hopefully should be a bit better post season five reloaded they're also aware of an issue impacting some PlayStation users that can cause the game to crash when resuming a mission in single player while offline. So 
again a very niche issue there but if that is uh something that's affecting you it will be uh fixed here with season five reloaded that's confirmed for a fix incoming then most recently for global issues they added they are aware of an issue where some xbox players in specific are not receiving the modern warfare 3 pre-order incentive rewards they are working on a fix for that now and that'll definitely be fixed with season 5 reloaded because it has to do with pre-orders and store bundles and whatnot and that stuff is always fixed like right away so if you're on xbox and wondering where your you know uh pre-order rewards are in mw2 and warzone they are working on an update for that we also have a few different battle royale fixes uh listed here on vondel still this is another one that's been here for like the whole time basically the vondel's been out the street panels are supposed to be live and active and tell you what the weather is like and tell you where the hot spots are on the map and like after day two of vondel being out they removed those because it was breaking the game and they just never fixed it so uh the street signs still not working maybe that'll be fixed here with season five hopefully a fix that they do have incoming that is confirmed we are aware of an issue where one of the utility tunnel entrances at Rohan Oil in Almazra is inaccessible. So little underground areas there, that's going to be opened up and fixed here as well with Season 5 Reloaded. Then we get into the DMZ known issues tab. And uh, well, there's not a whole lot going on here. They're investigating an issue where some players are unable to barter for special plate carriers and an issue where some players are spawning into DMZ matches without the weapons they've selected, which has been an issue since day one. And it's like every single season, there's a new bug with your insured weapons or your uh, various custom guns you want to bring in and they just don't appear and then it wastes your slot, right? So uh, definitely an obnoxious one there, but unfortunately not a whole lot is known about some of the DMZ updates coming and even less is known about multiplayer because they just don't like update this tab anymore. Uh, the only thing they have listed is that they're investigating reports of players not receiving their end of season skill division rewards but that's also been amended like a couple of different times now between warzone and multiplayer so i'm not sure what infinity ward's up to over there but it's not been updating the trello board that's for sure now outside of the trello there are also some other pretty common bugs going around in game right now that i expect will be fixed here with season five reloaded the largest and by far the most annoying one is the knife glitch where currently if you put a throwing knife on your class and you use an smg in your hands if you melee it's going to use the throwing knife to melee and it'll sometimes one hit and knock a player who is full health this is like plaguing ranked right now it's the most frustrating thing super obnoxious exploit that should be fixed here with season five i know they are uh or season five reloaded rather i know they are aware of that one also we know for a fact like i mentioned at the start of the video we're gonna have multiple different content updates and gameplay updates in the way of like a new camo event coming for a new vehicle and a new camo that's universal per usual we got some uh stuff happening in warzone with the all bagra fortress map and a couple of new weapons as well and all of the content will be officially revealed like i said in just a couple of days time we'll be covering that blog and all those reveals and that new roadmap once it is released so stay tuned for that alongside absolutely everything else going on in cod news updates meta breakdowns you name it it is all right here be sure to hit that subscribe button and if you guys enjoyed the video do me a favor drop a like on it on your way out it would be seriously appreciated but once again thank you so much for tuning in and until next time take it easy have an awesome rest of your day and i'll catch you guys later peace out